Here we're asked to solve and graph the solutions to this system of two linear inequalities. The first thing I'm going to do is put both of these in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, so I can graph them up a little easier. Okay, so here I went off to the side and I solved for y. Notice on the second inequality, when I solve for y here, at some point I had to divide by negative 3, so that did reverse the inequality. Now the thing I notice about these two inequalities, uh, when I graph the boundary here, the lines, they have the same slope with different y-intercepts. Let's graph them up and see what we're going to get. Okay, so when I graph the boundary of the first inequality here, I got a plus 1, so that's my y-intercept. I'm going to rise 2 and run 3. You should use a straight edge when you graph your lines. Freehanding it here. Whoops, notice here I should have used I should have used a dotted line. So let me go ahead and erase that. Okay, so let's see. If I if I rise 2 and run 3 again, certainly this time I'm going to draw in a dotted line. And I'm doing that because my inequality is a strict inequality. There's no equal. And here, if I run a test point, say 0, 0, certainly 0 is not greater than 1. So when I graph and shade all the solution, all the ordered pairs that solve that, I'm going to graph here sort of above the line. OK, now let's focus on the second inequality, y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. So minus 1 is the y-intercept, we'll, we'll rise 2 and run 3. Notice it does have the same slope. And again, I'm going to draw on a dotted line. So those two lines are parallel. And let's see, if I run a test point 0, 0, 0 is not less than negative 1. So 0, 0 is not in that solution set. All the ordered pairs sort of below the line here are in the solution set. Okay, so when you're solving system of linear inequalities, you're looking for the points that solve both of these at the same time. In other words, you're looking for the ordered pairs in the intersection. And these regions do not intersect. So there's going to be no solution to that linear, that system of linear inequalities. There's no ordered pair x, y that solves both of those at the same time. There's no intersection.